Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Pokey J Mart back here bringing you another episode. First off, I just want to say I apologize for the massive delay. Probably, what, two month break? Um, had some stuff going on. Slightly cut back from Pokemon in the sense of how much I was buying. Uh, kind of ramped it up a little bit here, more so recently. I also was working night shift, uh, what I do for a career. I kind of messed up my sleep schedule up pretty good. Um, back now, though. And should be back posting again probably at least once a week, maybe twice a week if I can keep up the pace. Um, we're going to be doing a Rolling Skies box. I've never done Rolling Skies in like the whole history of my collecting. Um, so that's one of the X and Y sets I've never uh, completed, or rather even opened. Uh, I got some stuff on display in the back, just random stuff. I did pick, finally got the uh, Team Plasma Lugia EX 10, which is a three set, the Deoxys and the Thunderous. I actually have the other two. Up on the very top left, where you can kind of see near up in that Pikachu thing is up there, just above that is the other two. I actually had to get that online because this was all but next to impossible to find. A um, couple cards on display here. I always do the like, try to do the nostalgia card of the day, uh, you know, display kind of showcase. So we're going to crack open a Roaring Skies. I'm hoping for uh, obviously the Shaman and uh, a couple Megas would be sweet if I could get all that in this the Shamey and the Mega Rayquaza. Quaza would be baller. And then I also do have one of these bad boys. These are floating around here the last uh, month or so at Walmart. You're seeing these guys. They're like the new and improved mystery power boxes. This is the Mega. I already opened one already. Uh, as you can see, this is some of the stuff that you get out of those guys. Black and white pop, little three packer, little three guys, little three dealies. We get three cards in them. And then that's supposedly the, the vintage pack, which I didn't get jack crap out of that. But So maybe we'll crack that um, either in this episode or the next. Probably going to run out a little bit of time. Could showcase a couple other things I got recently. A couple trades, a couple buys, things like that. Um, we'll go ahead and crack the uh, Roaring Skies once I just get set up here. Alright, I think I moved the camera accidentally, but let me just maybe kind of focus this here. You guys. Oh, the big creeper bulb in the back is a big old giant plush. Just won him out of a ski ball at the amusement park down the road from my house. So, uh, yeah, I definitely kind of jacked that up, guys, huh? All right, well, I'm not going to spend a year and a half trying to fix that. So, um, all right, a little more level now. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. I'm excited because, again, I've never um, got the Gengar mat right here. Keep the cards nice and protected. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall because I have it all but set up to fall over. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see. That's what I did last time. I had the camera set up slightly really different. It wasn't bumping it. All right, Rolling Skies, baby. There it is. There it is. Like the box looks nice. Never cracked one of these. Watched a bunch of videos of other people cracking them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to try to keep my hand off the table as best as possible for lack of uh, stability on this camera setup. Let's go ahead and start ripping these bad boys open. A um, little bit of a time issue here this evening. So I'm going to probably just do a couple normal first packs here. Um, give a couple of these out as we go along. Um, and then I think we're going to go ahead and do the speed, the speed flash burn or whatever that people call that for viewing these cards today. Okay, we got Padov, Ninkata, Swablu, Voltorb, Togepi, Latios Spirit Link. And again, the camera, uh, the, uh, rather the way I have the lights set up, give me some glare, but. Without it, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Firo. Ooh, an Articuno Reverse. I like that. Look at that. That's nice. I actually really enjoy that. Even though it's a Reverse, you know, it's Articuno. It's a rare, legendary dude. I'm actually, actually pretty happy about that. Okay. I do not have that card. All right. A lot of these are going to be new for me. Um, I know in past episodes, you know, I'm always like, ah, that's a double, that's a triple. And it just gets old after a while when you get the same card over and over and over again. When there's like, you know, for especially like Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, there's 100 like, what, 46 cards or something like that. It's like, oh, I just got the same card four times, you know. I don't know how that happens. Um, so anyway, 
a bit of a gray Pokemon. Okay, three over two. I'm gonna go ahead and rock the uh, Fletchling. What the hell is that? Wurmple, Twilo, Electric, Baggin, a Revive, a Pelipper, a Togetic, a boy from Gen 2, Executor. Is that a, is that a, ooh, no, it's a uncommon. And we got a, ooh, a Reshiram Hollow. It's a little bit of bleed through. Right down here, you got some Hollow bleed. Probably can't see it on the camera, but there's definitely some Hollow bleed there. Almost like all the way across the card. I think I have that card. I saw it the other day when I came from the hollows. Alright. Three over two. I'm actually really excited to do this one, guys. I'm going to do one for forever, but I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Done sparse. I don't know if I can do that. Okay. We got a Wingall, a Dratini, Electric, Swablu. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Uh, Gliscor, Tranquil, a Wily, oh, a Reverse uh, Ultra Ball, gives you uh, pretty well sought after. A little extra Buku Buck right there for being the fact that it's a uh, Reverse. And a non hollow Dragonite. This card would have been baller had this been a, a hollow. I guess this is a non hollow in this set. It's kind of disappointing. Any Dragonite card, in my opinion, should be automatically a hollow. It's a good looking artwork, too. Look at the centering on this, the centering on this uh, edging here. Terrible. Terrible. Back's not as bad, but yeah, it's terrible. It's definitely eight. automatically not a ten. Okay. Probably automatically eight. Start it off. Again, that's an unofficial grading, guys. I like to think that my unofficial grade would be relatively close to what a PSA grade would be. And there you go. Okay, three over to two. Booyah. Okay, we got Twilu, Execute, Halucha. This guy is kind of ridiculous. Pikachu, Nat 2, Electrode. Used to be a rare back in the day. Altaria, Executor, Pikachu. Oh, look at that. Little reverse Pikachu. Exact 2. Alright, so we got, in my opinion, two good cards so far. Of how many packs? I'll go back and grab all the reverses out after the video. Well, we got something good in that pack, but boys, yeah, Pokey Bros. I'd like to do, a, guys. I'd like to do a Pokey Bro episode here coming up. Uh, hopefully, sometime this month, um, either Guardians Rising or um, whatever I can get organized. I know we got the new, the new Sun and Moon coming out in a few months, which looks absolutely fantastic with the Charizard and the Ho. -Oh. The Ho -Oh and the Charizard is is one obviously I'm after, and everybody else and their brother. Now, you know, everybody in the run for the most part is, oh, Charizard, Charizard, Charizard. You know, I'm not, like, super pumped for Charizard, but obviously the fact that, you know, you got Charizard GX and Charizard Rainbow Rare, I mean, that's going to be pretty hot. And, you know, Ho-Oh, you can't go wrong with Ho-Oh, dude, being a legendary. And Ho-Oh was the very first legendary you ever saw in episode one. A lot of people don't remember that and or realize that. Apologize, I'm having some trouble with the, the focus. I don't know why. I'm not trying to get too close. There we go. Probably just keep it like that. Ontario. Ooh, what's that in the back, guys? The net. Ooh, Mega Lady X. All right, guys, that's gonna be a new card for me. Ooh, I like it. Psychic type. I hardly ever see this card. I don't know why. 220 HP, 110 attack, and Wavering Blade. This attack is 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I think I used to see this in the deck quite a bit back in the day. All right, I'm gonna put that off to the side. I'll sleeve them up at the end. I'm not gonna touch them till then. All right, our first mega. We got one hollow. Um, let's see, like the ratio is great, but we're getting there. Three over to two. I'm just gonna do the Patrick for the first stack. I'm gonna blast through that too. Uh, the ancient traits or ancient origins style, whatever that's called. Wingall. I'm gonna be doing an ancient origins box. Hopefully a Furious Fist box. Try to do some of the older X and Y. I'd love to get an X and Y base set box, but I don't think it's going to happen. I had the opportunity to buy one like six months ago for 100 bucks, and I didn't. I regret that now. I'm present. Zekrom. That is the stupidest card ever. And I really wish this was a holo, because it's a badass looking... This doesn't even look like a Pokemon. This looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh! character, almost. 
All right, got Shamey, Shamey for and a Mega Rayquaza for I do have one Mega Rayquaza EX card. I pulled it out of a, um, oh, I pulled it out of that Mystery Mega Power Box thing. There was a, um, Roaring Skies booster pack in one. I pulled that, which I was happy about, obviously. Execute, Clearwell, Electric, Baggin, Minkata, Mega Turbo, Decent Card Plan, Tropius, Switch, that was that Cascoon and a Dragon Knight. Ooh, Dragon Knight Hollow. Asian trait style, or whatever that's called. And ironically enough, I think I have this card. Pretty sure. Although it's a Hollow Dragon Knight, so I'm not going to complain. Very nice, very nice. Good looking card. He's like all 3D'd out, coming out the card like that. Looks sick. Pretty much going to give you all the uh, code cards. I might keep a couple for a rainy day. You never know. Never know. So enjoy, enjoy some eight. You know, enjoy some rolling skies. You know, hopefully there's still play playability there online. I know all the sun and moons out right now, so it's kind of crushing. I'm just hoping there's a couple rolling skies that people still need. Ninjask, Shogun, Meow, and an Altarius style uh, ancient. I mean, good looking card. Um, definitely got like a cartoonish looking thing going on there. Blue and white really stand out. It'd be cool to have that been a hollow as well. I don't really know the Rolling Skies set too great, so I can't off, off the bat tell you if that was supposed to be a hollow or not. But I guess it probably wasn't. Which, you know, back in the day, you know, 98, 99, they actually had rares that would be hollow or non hollow. It was just the luck of the draw. Like, um,. You know, obviously, certain cards obviously were never non hollow, but there were a few that you could either get in hollow or non hollow version. Barnacle, Gligar, Shop It. Come on. It's like a sweet spot, man. Never seem to get it. Togepi, Mankata, Tropius, Skyfield, a Quasi Spirit Link, Togetic. That Talent Flame. Alright, guys, come on now. It's starting to get a little ridiculous. Should have pulled a hollow or a mega. Now, I think. Code card. And it's gone. Three, three, two. Not two. Shuppet. Tratini. Cascoon. Halucha. Come on, why does it do that? It's supposed to be 1080p with zoom. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Okay, buddy. Wild Lens. Fletchender. Skarmory. Cool card. Uh, hollow back in the deck. <laughs> what? Double Skarmory? Kind of cool, I guess. I have a couple Skarmory Hollows over in that pile right there where Bulbas peering over the, the, uh, the edge being a creeper. Being a little peeping Tom right now, dude. It's like, yeah, what you guys got over here? You guys got, you guys got them, 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 them rare candies? You guys got them rare candies? Oh, I messed that up, guys. Did you guys see that? I totally jacked that up. Spiro, Voltorb. NK. Come on, come on. Cascoon, meow. Trainer's mail. Okay, I didn't know what that did. The metric. Ooh, what's that? Special energy double dragon. Very nice. Wormple. And they swallow, dude. Hollow. Kinda cool. Never seen that card before, actually. In this form, anyway. I don't think I've ever seen this card. Very nice. Can't complain. I do like some of these Asian trade cards. They're not bad. They're a cool concept. I prefer if they were like. Ball of Pokemon for each one, but I'm not do a little stack management here, guys. Getting a little, getting a little dirty, dirty birdie over here. All right, three over to two. Booyah. Okay, Pichu. We got an NK for the millions, 15 pounds. We got a Meowth. We got a Cascoon. We got some Bad Zoom. Cascoon. A Hawlucha. A Pelipper. A Togetic. Gladio Spirit Link. A Baggin. And a. Ooh, there it is, guys. A Hollow Zekrom. That's what I was talking about earlier. So this apparently this card does come come in hollow form. I'm kind of glad because I definitely wanted that. If you notice, the edging is jacked on this one. Look at this super fat over here and the little skinny over here. Uh, at least I got that. Not bad, not bad. Like I said a lot of these are going to be new for me, so pretty much every pack for the most part is going to be straight up good. Shedder in July. I absolutely hate this card. I get this card all the time. 
almost every regular random orange guys back open from like Walmart or whatever. All right, I'm gonna keep doing the pack trick. Five more packs. About halfway through this, still did not pull really anything fantastic. I was really hoping to get some like legit pulls out of this because it was my first box ever, and it's been a while since I've done a booster, booster full booster box. I've been opening up. Oh uh, yeah, guys, my off time. I have been opening up some stuff, like opened up a couple tins here and there. Opened up like one like small twenty dollar box set. Um, just some like low end stuff, nothing crazy. A couple good pulls, nothing like absolutely like fantastic. Um, I'm sure there might have been one or two that I just can't remember now. But, you know, dabbling in the old stuff, the new stuff is in between. On a couple Facebook. Been on a couple Facebook um, sites where people will constantly buy, sell, and trade all the time. There's so much good stuff on there. It's ridiculous. Bagging. Uh, Bonacle, Gladgar, Meow. Spiro. Quasi Spirit Link. Uh, Sukoon. We got a Steven. Wow. Shuppet. And an Unpheasant. I absolutely hate this card. Well, I hate Unpheasant. Not this card. It's just one cool. Would have been cool if it would have been a Hallow. Anyway, uh, okay, we got three packs left. I'm gonna start doing the um, the burn a pack right after this, and I think I'm gonna keep the code cards. I'll give you a few more at the end. So if you wanna hang out towards the end, guys, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's, it's cute, Fletchling, Pikachu. Still giving away free stuff, guys. I gave out a um, not too long ago. I gave out a Mimikyu, like one of those fifteen dollar Mimikyu little small little box set things. One of these, give out one of these uh, for free, <clears throat> and then the one day I gave out, I gave out a ten to somebody the one day at a um, wasn't an event per se, it was at a flea market. Um, got to talking to this one guy, and uh, good kid, he was a kid, and uh, I wanted to help him out, and uh, I'll, you know I often try to help kids out if I can. Uh, Bennett as the the rare. Um, and, um, got to talking to him, you know, he's a younger kid, you know, he doesn't always get a lot of cards, um, because his parents, you know, on a budget, whatever, whatever, and, you know, he gets, like, a pack at a time, and maybe, maybe, like, a small, little small box set, you know, once a month or something, and with Pokemon always pumping out products, like, every, every, wow, sorry guys, I clipped it as I was doing stack maintenance, and with Pokemon always coming out doing new um, new products like 24/7, absolutely just ridiculous stuff. Um, no, I feel bad for the kid because he can't keep he can't keep up. I mean, I'm an adult, I'm an adult, and I can barely keep up. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's just it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Some of the stuff that they pump out. So um, give him a couple loose cards, and then um, give him a ten. All right, what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just doing some stack maintenance, and that's obviously why I dropped the camera in the process. Got a little too handsy. A little too handsy on that camera. Try not to do that. But I think in the history of this channel, I've only done it twice. That's not bad, not bad, not bad. I also have no air conditioning unit in this room. So I'm actually starting to sweat my you-know-what off as we are currently sitting here. So that's fun, too. I was going to throw a fan on, but I didn't want the ambient noise in the background to mess anything up. Okay, there it is. Three of the two. Oh, I messed it up again, dude. I got, oh, I just clipped that card with that. What's that? It's a dust box. Alright, I kind of, I'm just going to burn this pack. Victini. Ugh, dust box. I think that's a rare. No, it's not a rare. A Winona Rider. A Winona Rider. Look at that. Winona Rider. I want that zoom. There you go. Alright, one last one for the pack trick. There should be... You think this, this pack's got to have something good in it because I really haven't put anything like super legit yet. I guess you guys really don't need that code card up that long, huh? Let me just pause it. Ooh, 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 guys. In my hand, in my hand right here, I can feel the texture. I can feel the texture. That obviously implies it's uh, something good. I called it. I knew it was going to be something good in this pack. Just because of the way that we didn't pull in the other stuff. Padov. 
Zinkeda, Swablu, a Voltorb, a Wild Lens, a Wise Lens, a Fletchender, an Ultra Ball, ooh, an NK. Cool, guys, what is it? Please be something legit. Oh, no. No. Shut your mouth. Dude, I think, I think this is what I think it is. I really hope it is, because I absolutely wanted this card forever. Please, please. Oh, my God. That is, like, that's just, like, I'm at a loss for words right now, dude. But what the hell is this? Hold on a sec, guys. All right, guys, it's definitely not a 10. Definitely not a 10. There's, like, some weird white nick here right above the E and the EX. I don't know, like, if that's... Oh, there it went. All right, that was some, like, loose, like, edging or cardboard, I think, that wouldn't come off. All right, that's gone, so that's good. There's no wear and tear now there from that spot. Card looks fantastic for the most part. Easily a 9. Maybe, like, a little bit of edging right here on this. Can't really see it. That's just... Oh, my God, guys. I wish it was mint, but, dude, I can't... I really can't complain... What is that? I think it's because it's got that black bordering. It just it gets beat up so hard. Back looks pretty good. Um, bottom right hand corner might have a little bit of uh, I don't know like a like a I don't know what you want to call it, like a nick or a scuff. You guys kind of see that? I mean, that, for the most part, the cards always kind of have that like that lifted edge a little bit. That's a little more profound. So anyway. I mean, easily at probably 9-ish, 8.5, depending on what grading scale you're using. Um, but the fact that I pulled this is just fantastic. If you ball if there's two, which that hardly ever happens. But um, now if I could pull the Mega Rayquaza and the regular Shamey, that'd be fantastic. The Mega, or the four, the four uh, Rayquaza, so I said both ways, Rayquaza and Rayquaza, I've heard it both ways, um, would be just great. I actually have two uh, first edition Dark Charizards. They're like all but men too. Probably shouldn't have. ignore that four dollar thing. I use I just quick use the hard case for this. Got double. Ooh, double. Anyways, yeah, so that's cool. I'll uh, just showcasing some old cards. I right, gonna burn through these guys. I'm running out of time. It's nine forty my time currently. I'm supposed to be done by then. Uh, another code. All right, we're gonna just we'll go right through them. We're gonna go right through them to the two good ones, Altarian and Unpheasant. Okay, not fantastic, but not bad. Okay, we're just gonna pull those off to the side. The stack maintenance at the end. Oh my God! Not even I didn't even get to pre preempt it, dude. Baller son, look at that. That's sweet looking, man. See again, these are kind of new for me because I barely opened these. You got like purple and green and blue. Dude, this is a sick card, man. It's like fire all around it. HP 230. Dragon Ascent 300. That's a big boy attack. Wow. Big boy attack. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponents? Grass, fire, water, electric is reduced by 20. Wow, that's pretty sweet, too. I wonder if people still play this. It'd be hard to get this to work with the five energy and then the fact you have to discard two every time. It's hard playability, but that's why it hits so hard, though. That's gorgeous. I'm absolutely so pumped about that. Oh, guys, um, I got this from my... I, I want to give him a shout-out. Um, I got this from my boy, uh, Ryan Fouts. F-O-U-T-Z. Don't kill me if I misspelled that, buddy. Um, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, so, but yeah, so Ryan Fouts. And his, his thing is PA Collectibles. He's based out of PA, uh, more so in Lancaster County. Uh, to kind of narrow it down just a little bit for you. Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Um, that's where he's at. So if you guys are close to that or a county over from that, I'm not sure you know where my fan base is. Um, I do know I have a couple people that watch it nearby. My place in Lancaster. Um, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. PA Collectibles. It's going to be Facebook. Just go in the search bar of uh, Facebook and go to PA Collectibles. That'll pop up as Ryan Fouts slash Pokemon. Um, and from there, you guys can... Uh, Hit up his store. He sells boosters. He sells, you know, loose cards, uh, tins, uh, things like that. He doesn't have like, like maybe the selection like what Walmart would have per se, but he's got everything you need for the most part for you know 
uh, playing and collectability purposes. Um, I've been hitting him up quite a bit recently. I got a few guys that I, that I shop around with. A couple different dealers that I deal with. Um, oh, Zapdos. You know, that been baller had that been um, hollow. And I do remember this being in one of those pre-built trainer decks. I think that's the only way you can get that uh, gla that glass break hollow Zapdos. That was the only way you could get that. You get you know they always make those two glass break hollows for every set. That you have to buy the um, like in Evolutions it was the uh, Pikachu and Mewtwo, which I have those. They're sweet. Because yeah, if you want the whole set, I mean technically you got to get those two too. If you want the hollows, oh that's a nice looking Jirachi. Got the hollow Jirachi. It's got the bleed. I don't know if you can see it, but it does got that. Yeah, there you go. You can see that pretty good hollow bleed through. I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know why. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, I mean, it gives a cool effect to the card, but I don't. I don't anticipate that that Pokemon that was there. That was the original thought process for hollows. I think that's a glitch on there, or a mess up, or whatever you want to call it. All right, we got a Pidove, and we got an Articuno. Is Moltres in this set? I almost feel like it has to be. Let's be looking at Articuno. Is that hollow, guys? Oh, you know what? I think that's a glass break, too. For, uh, when it's pre built. Now I kind of wish I would have bought these. But at $12, just to buy that hollow, is ridiculous. $12.99. I'm not paying $12 bucks just to get that. Ah, that's cool. Look at that. Double Dragon Energy. Reverse. It's pretty sweet. Like that. Card Bank, Wally's, Lacoon, Ultra Ball. Um, put that over there. I'll sleep all this crap up at the end. All right, guys, stay tuned then for the next episode. I'll probably pump one out uh, Wednesday or Thursday, which I think is the 28th or the 29th of, of this month, which is June. Um, ooh, we got a Dust Ox. That's a double. You can trade, so whatever. Um, yeah. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing the uh, Mega, Mega Ultra Super Duper Mystery Mega Power Box. We'll be doing that. Hopefully we get like an awesome pull out of that, or a um, or a uh, a vintage. That'd be baller vintage pack. Um, with like an actual like legit vintage, and we'll pull something like legit, like a, like a hollow Charizard. No, I'm just kidding. Hollow Zekrom. All right, that's kind of cool. Dragonite and the Zekrom. Not bad. I'll take them. Just like double of all those now again. Yeah, I guess put up. All right, guys. Come on, we're shooting for um. Absolutely shooting for a, a require. Oh, what's I don't know what that is, buddy. Hold on, something good though. Shooting for another Requaza, 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 or the other, the uh, non full art Shaney, or double, double. <laughs> I don't know, has that ever happened? I feel like it has to eventually, like a glitch. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, I'll take it. Yes, Requaza EX. All right, that gives me. So I got the Mega Rayquaza, and I have another Mega Rayquaza that I pulled out of that Mega Ultra thing the other day, which is different. So I just need the other, the fourth regular Rayquaza in the set, and I have all four, I think. I think there's four, right, guys? Four in this set, four different types of Rayquazas. The two Megas and the two, two standard EXs. That's kind of standard across the board, not to do that. Now, unless it's Breakthrough, then they got like 8,000 different Mewtwo's and Breakthrough. Which is kind of cool, but let me get to what I throw out. Ooh, what's that, guys? Ooh, what is that? Is that just Salamance? I bet. Watch, ready? Boom, Salamance. Cool card. Um, I actually have quite a bit of these. Like, it seems like every time I open Roaring Skies, like, loose packs, I pull this card, like, nonstop. It's probably, like, the fifth one I pulled of this. Cool looking card. I like the fact that it has, like, fire, fire water, fire double colorless. I like when they do that. Just from a collectability standpoint. I'm, I'm sure from a player build standpoint, it's probably super annoying trying to play all those, those particular energies. I mean, obviously, you could probably just rock double colorless and be done with it. But... Or the rainbow energies. Do people play still use the rainbow energies? I mean, that was like the card back in the day. The rainbow energies. The hollow. Ooh, a Victini and an Altaria. Ooh. All right, guys. Uh, we're starting to wrap up here. We got four packs left. Four packs. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love that other Shamey at this point. I mean, fantastic. Boom. A Togekiss. Is that a hollow? That'd be cool hollow. Get like that rainbow effect going. Alright, hollow, um... Hollow Togekiss would be baller. And, um... I honestly cannot remember if I gave this card out, so I'm just gonna give it to you now. So I really try to not... get my card... code cards confused. 
Um, and then oh, what's happening? Oh my god, stand by, stand by. Okay. My screen decided it's gonna turn off. Knackle. Ooh, look at that. A reverse switch. I don't think I've ever pulled that. Pretty baller. And, 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 and. Ooh, a Bennett. That would have been sweet. A Bernetti. That would have been cool. A hollow. Damn, it's a shame. Oh man, guys, we're running, almost running out of packs. It's crazy, you know, you spend $90, $9,500 on these pictures. They go so fast. So fast. Oh, guys, guys, shut your mouth right now. Because <laughs> uh, I always have a habit of just sneaking a peek at that one card in the back. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be one of the best, at least as of right now. I mean, short of not pulling anything else in these two packs. I mean, I'd love to pull something else yet, but I think I got to be happy with what I got. This was, I paid 90 Five, I think, for this. 93. I'm trying to help my buddy out a little bit. I can't remember what I paid. It's kind of standard across the board for prices right now. And, um, dude, this is probably going to be the best booster box I've ever opened. I absolutely hate Sun and Moon because you get absolutely nothing from this. Dude. I got the Rayquaza EX that I needed. That is just fantastic. The fact that I have all four now in less than a week without even really trying is baller. Two cards, QR code, there you go. Look at that, guys. I mean, just fantastic. I love it. Try to get that zoomed in quick. Right about there. Ooh, it doesn't like this card. Look at that. It doesn't like it. Why? There it goes. There you go, you guys. can see it now. I have all four of them now. That is so fantastic. And I got that four. Shame me. That's the only thing I really, really wanted. I mean, kind of. It was like a top three that I wanted. And we got a non hollow Non hollow Articuno Asian trade. Sorry, sometimes I have like a little Asian thing going on in my voice because I mumble. Like a champ. Alright, um, I'd love to pull the that the last regular Shamey was in this. I I would just be set. I mean I I keep coming back to pulling a double Shamey. Double four hour Shamey, but I mean where are the chances at that? I guess pretty rare. Um do, are they all white? Are they all the code cards white? I think they are. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything in this one. Um, there's a code card for you guys. Okay, and then, uh, this is gonna be nothing. Oh, man. Lame. Shed Ninja. Yup. It would end on this card. Oh, oh man, I hate that card. Alright, guys. GG. GG for that. Um, I kind of wanted to sleeve these up, but... I'm just gonna do like real carefully a uh, recap. All right, well, I just dropped one already. Wow, I'm gonna put them on my mat as I go. I got a hollow Jirachi, a hollow Salamance. I'm gonna sleeve them up as soon as we're done. A uh, reverse D Knight, a hollow Zekrom, another hollow Zekrom. I'm just doing it fast, guys. I'm running out of time. Rayquaza EX. I would do the zoom, but you've already seen them. Look at focus. Hollow Dragon Knight. A Rayquaza EX. Mega Rayquaza EX. Which I have the other one. The other one that's like white colored. And he's like looking the other way. I have that one. A uh, Reverse Second Ram. I don't know why I have that. Uh, Reshi Ram. I had this. Double. A Swellow Hollow. Kind of cool. I've never seen that card before. Uh, I think that's what the Hollow Articuno. The Mega Glade EX. Uh, it would have been cool to pull the the Glade from this, like the, that the whole set too. And then last but not least, absolutely fantastic. Um, pretty close to mint. Shamey EX. The fact that I pulled this on my very first booster box. I mean, some guys. I've seen some videos. People open like four or five of these and finally get it. Like, what's that one guy? Um, that one guy I used to watch quite a bit. He always dresses up. And he goes, Nat 2, how do you do? Or, or Exact 2, how do you do? That guy. Um, oh, Leanheart. Leanheart, like, what, tried for like two months to pull this and finally did. Whew, buddy. Let me tell you, dude. That's fantastic. All right, let me showcase a couple cards real quick. Got a first edition Hollow Misty from back in the day. 
the Gym Hero, Gym Hero, Gym series. Um, we got Sick, um, Espion from, I think, what, Neo, the Neo series, Japanese. I had to buy that. It was beautiful. I got a sick deal on this way back in the day. This is like a mint. This is actually mint. Um, now, it doesn't look mint because of the case, but it's mint. I took it out and looked at it. First edition, hollow, shiny magic card. I got a steal on that on eBay. Like, nobody bid on it. I'm sure that guy was pissed that nobody bid. Uh, first edition, hollow, rocket, sneak attack. I have a few of those as well. Um, showed you the uh, Charizards. I did a trade the other day with my buddy. Um, I absolutely needed the Misty's Determination yet for my Evo set. I'm one card away from getting my Evo set, which is unfortunately a Mega Charizard EX. The full art, which is, just had to be that one. Um, and I don't know why that doesn't focus. And then on, uh, um, the uh, Secret Rare baller looking full art. Aqua Patch, my man, got a good deal on that, he traded for me, I actually thought I bent the crap out of this the other day, because I had it in my backpack, and I forgot about it, and I slammed my backpack on the ground, and I was like, oh, there went that Aqua Patch, and luckily enough, when I pulled it out, it was still in good condition, which blew my mind, uh, Misty, another Rocket, Hollow Can these are all Hollows, guys, Fable, Jumpluff, Raichu, Muck, I know you can't see him, Dark Crobat, uh, Ampharo, so this beautiful Dark Scissor, Dark Vileplume, first edition, Rocket's Trap, first edition, Brock's Riding On, Misty's Tenderful, Giovanni's Persian, Venomoth, Dark Gyarados, Giovanni's Gyarados, all hollows, all hollows across the board. Alright, all from back in the day, 98, 99. Alright guys, this has been Jmart, Pokey Jmart. I'm going to peace out. i got to get going. Um, stay tuned for another episode here on the... Uh, pretty soon. I'd say about three or four days. All right, peace out, guys. Enjoy it. Um, Mystery Mega Power Box coming up next. And I'd like to do a giveaway someday soon. All right, peace out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.